Lego Harry Potter collection years 1 to 4 and 5 to 7 is now out on your PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and of course PC. And I am here just to give you some rambling early thoughts and feelings on the game. Of course, this is n by no stretch of the imagination a new game. No, I first played Lego Harry Potter years 1 to 4 back in July 2010, 14 years ago. This is the third iteration of it. It was re-released as a collection for the PS4, Xbox uh, One. It's now being released, as I said, for modern day consoles and PC. And I am not loving it any less than I have ever loved it. It's just a brilliant, fun game. But there are definitely improvements in the graphical, the fidelity, everything about it. It does feel beautiful. I'm definitely going to be doing a comparison video in the next few days once I've managed to play through it all, go on to 5-7. I've not actually touched 5-7 yet, I've only been doing 1-4, I've got up to Prison of Azkaban. I definitely want to do a comparison between the original on the 360 and PS3, the uh, Xbox One, PS4 release and this one, because my gosh, it is night and day. You can definitely feel it and for the £16 I paid for it, again, we'll touch on the price and if it's worth it for you guys. It is definitely worth it, in my opinion, because of the enhancements. I was thinking, and other people said, look, the, the PS4 and the Xbox One version is pretty good, it's pretty nifty, but no, no, no. I can tell from my eyes playing in 4K on the PS5, the walls, the architecture of Hogwarts, the lighting, the shadows in the leaky cauldron, diagonally, um, walking around in charms with the sunlight coming through or in the darkness with the shadows cast. It is beautiful. You'll be seeing gameplay from my early uh, gameplay from Foster Stone and Chamber of Secrets. And it's just beautiful compared to what we saw before. It is night and day. It is definitely an upgrade. It's definitely an improvement. A lot of people will be like, yeah, but I can still go and play it. I don't really want to pay 16 quid or 32 quid if you've not bought it before. But if you've never played it or you've not bought it before, this is definitely worth your time and money. Like I said, the gameplay is the same. The characters, you can see a bit of upgrade with them, especially in cutscenes. Sometimes you can't, but it's all in the environments, the walls of Hogwarts, the stone. When you're up in the entrance hall, just outside the Great Hall, the lighting, the floor, just... Everything about it is drop dead gorgeous for a Lego game. Yes, it, you do have that sort of charm of the 2010, 2011 sort of the original Lego characters and the cutscenes, you know, everyone's grunting. It's not Skywalker Saga. But the actual environment these characters are placed in are definitely up there with something that is made from, you know, by TT Games today. And again, if you've enjoyed these games in the past, it's just fun. It's the same fun, you know, it's the same levels, it's the same Hogwarts. It's just got a new coat of paint, and to me, I'm having a blast with it. Of course, if you're playing on PlayStation, there's 85 trophies. It's just one platinum this time, not split into two games. It's the same trophies as before, but they were fun to collect back then. I'll be definitely platting them at PC. Uh, hopefully, it's stable. I've not actually played on Steam yet. I've had it crash once on PlayStation, so in five, four or five hours of gameplay, that's pretty stable for a new game. So that's kudos to them. No crashes, well, one crash so far. Not a problem there. And yeah, if you enjoy these games, if you enjoy wandering around Hogwarts to John Williams' themes or Patrick Doyle's, Nicholas Hooper's fireworks, you are going to love going back to Hogwarts. I will be doing like a full review on it. I will be doing the comparison video, but it will definitely be coming out soon. But as an early thoughts and review, it's the same old fun. It's definitely worth getting. The half price of £16 compared to 32 I think it's fair. £8 a game for a PS5 game. Brilliant. I'm happy to pay that. I did. So again, some people might not think it's worth it. I do. And yeah, so I just say if you are not keen or you're a bit unsure, hopefully the gameplay I've recorded is showing how good it looks or can look. Um, it's definitely an upgrade. They've done a very good job repainting it, giving it that new lease of life. And hopefully this is just the start and we can see maybe a Skywalker Saga level sort of upgrade for LEGO Harry Potter. But I can't wait to get on and keep playing one of my favourite games of all time. I love the LEGO games, especially Harry Potter. So many memories and it's just looking so damn beautiful. I'm excited to see what 5 to 7 looks like. But yeah, let me know, are you playing it? <laughs> are you getting it? What are you thought on the price for 48% off, 50% off? Do you let me know your thoughts? Do you think it's a big enough upgrade for the price? Do you think? Do you see what I see? Let me know all that down below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're enjoying the game. I'll see you all soon for that comparison video.